University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension agents from Eastern Kentucky and volunteers help load trucks with fencing supplies to be delivered to farmers around the area who were slammed by the tornadoes, uprooting fences and destroying everything in their path. The farming community was, was hit really hard because it wiped away all their fences, wiped away all their barns, like all their feed, and we're still in the middle of the, uh, toward the end of the winter, so the cattle and the horses and the goats are still needing all their hay and their feed, so we're trying to get them feed, to get them hay, to get them fencing supplies, to get them back up on track. The Kentucky Cattlemen's Association helped facilitate about $16,000 in fencing supplies that was delivered to this staging site in Morgan County. Fencing supplies were either picked up in person by those needing them or delivered by volunteers. There were enough supplies to hand out about a quarter mile of fencing to around 30 to 40 farmers each. Some hay was donated earlier that the extension agents took directly to feed animals. We drove out with uh, three round bales and the, the two on a trailer and one in the back of the state truck and drove into the field and, and pushed it out for them, for their horses and you thought we dropped off a million dollars in their field. Mary McCarty said one farmer had not seen his 36 head of cattle since the storm hit and that livestock are still running free. But more supplies are expected to reach the devastated area and extension agents plan to get them out as quickly as possible to those who need them. This week we've got supplies coming in next week, we've got supplies coming in the week after that. So we, we were telling folks that if they don't get some supplies on the first initial uh, the first initial run of, of supplies we've got in that, that we're going to get them later on. So we're trying to help everybody that's, that's been suffer, that's, that's had damages and suffered consequences with this, with this storm on their farms. Daniel Wilson said they will base the distribution of supplies on need and will try to respond to as many farmers as possible. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.